Hi, it's Mrs. Lemoyne again, and today we're going to be doing electromagnetic math, grade five, unit one, lesson eight, figures made of prisms. So let's jump right in. Our goal today is to find the volume of figures made of prisms. I'm going to talk about what a prism is also. All right, so our first warm-up is another activity, which one doesn't belong? So as soon as I look at these four figures, the first thing I think of is A. A is all cottywampus, as like my mother used to say. Uh, it's not organized. It can't be cut into two equal layers. And it can't be cut into rectangular prisms. So I would choose A because it is a strange figure that is not regular. But I could make an argument for figure B as well. It's the only one that is regular, right? There are no pieces hanging out. I have four on the top and four in each layer. And so it would be really easy to calculate the volume of figure B. So I could pick figure B as well. Figure C, I could pick. It doesn't belong because it's not three cubes high. We can see that this one's three cubes high. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. This one is four. So I could have chosen C only because it's four cubes high. D does not belong. I could also choose D because it does not have 12 cubes in it. I think if I count right, all the rest have. This is a two with two length and three high. That would be two times two times three, which is 12. This one I'll just have to count. Let me get my eraser out really quickly. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, maybe this one has 10 in it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nope, it's twelve as well. This one is a two by four, so I know I have eight cubes here, eight, and then I have four more here, so eight plus four would be twelve as well. This one I have two, four, six, so it's a three by two, so six in the back and two in the front would be eight cubes. So I could pick this one because it is not made of eight. It looks similar to C, but there's less blocks for that one. All right, now that we got our brain all warmed up, we're going to be moving on. Okay, we're gonna do an activity called Put It Together going to build a rectangular prism with partner A is going to build a rectangular prism with 12 cubes, partner B with 10. You're going to put your two rectangular cubes together to make one figure and then what we have to figure out the volume of that figure. So let's do one, two, and three first and then we'll talk about how Diego and Jada did this activity. So let's go to my, my pointer. Whoops. And go to my overhead. Here we are. I have already built two cubes, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten. So here is my partner that had to build ten. And I had to make it a rectangular prism. So I can't have any that are not in line with another one, right? It has to be a rectangular prism. And then this one, let's see how many are in this one. Two, four, six in this layer, and two, four, six in this layer. So six and six is 12. So here is my partner that had 12. It's falling apart. Let's see if I can get it back in there. There we go. And here's the partner that had 10. My next instruction was to put those together. So I think I'm just going to stack it right there. And now we have a figure with two prisms. So how are we going to figure out how many cubes are in both of these together? Well, partner A had to make 12, and that's partner A's figure. Partner B had to make 10, one with 10 cubes. So 
So we're going to add those together, and we get 22. So the purpose of this activity, ladies, was to find out that if I have an irregular prism or an irregular figure like this, I could take it apart, find out how many cubes are in this piece and how many cubes are in this piece, and then add them together. Then I would know how much they are all together. All right. Which is 22 cubes. All right. Now we're going to talk about Diego and Jada. They put their two cubes together, their two rectangular prisms, sorry, together to make this figure. What is the volume of Diego and Jada's figure? Well, if I think about it, this must be one person's, this one in the back, and then this thing in the front, let me get a different color, this figure in the front must be Diego or Jada's, and then the one in the back must be the other person's. So let's figure out, so I can imagine cutting it apart and counting them. So let's figure out what this person, the one in the front, has. Well, I can see three down here, and I can see if I cut it here, remember we're going to cut this piece off, I can see two here, and then I can see that it's too high. So or I can figure out this piece here, and then there are two of those. So I see six here, and then there are two sixes. So this person had 12. The person in the back had a layer of one, two, three, four, five, six, or a three by two. So this layer is six, and there are one, two, three layers of six. So that person had 18. So now all I have to do is add the 12 and the 18 together to get 30. And I know that the volume of this, these two prisms together, these two rectangular prisms together, is 30 cubes. So what I did is in my head, I thought about cutting this piece away from this piece, finding the volume of each piece, and then adding those two together. Which rectangular prisms could Diego and Jada each have built? So one of 12, right, and one of eight, uh, 18. And I think we've already organized it so that we can uh, teach a friend. Okay. So what was the volume of the shapes you made when you put your prisms together? Well, it was 12 and 10 is 22 cubes, and we know that because we built a figure with 12 and we built a prism with, with 10, and then we could add those two together. What is the volume of the figure of Diego and Jada made, and how do you know? Well, we figured out that one person who built the front had a three, oops, Uh, three, well, the front was six, and we had two layers of six, so this person's volume was 12, and then the back, this layer was six, and we had three layers of six, so that person's volume was 18, and then we added 18 plus the 12, and we got 30 cubes in Diego and Jada's. And we know that because we could take them apart and count them. All right. I see two figures, or two prisms. We're now on activity two. Find the volume for each figure and explain or show your reasoning. Okay, so I'm going to remember that if I do length times width times height, I can get my volume, or I can do the area of the base and multiply that times the height, and that will also give me the volume. So for figure A, 
I think I'm going to cut this little piece off here and ignore it. So I know whatever I do, I'm going to have to add that one little piece that's extra there. And then now I can find the volume of this figure here. And I think I'm going to do area of the base for this one. So the area of the base would be one, two, three across here times one, two, three, four, five here. So this whole piece, this whole layer is a base and it's 15. And I would have 15 in this layer, 15 in this layer, and 15 in this layer. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of math on the side to find out 15 times the height of 3. How much is that? 3 times 5 is 15. I'm going to carry my 10. 3 times 1 plus 1 is 45. So this whole figure here is 45. So let's write that on it. And then this extra figure is 1. So I can add that in my head, really. So this one is going to be 46 cubes for A. And then I can do the same process for B, right? I'm going to cut this piece off, or pretend I'm taking it out, and this piece right here is going to be my plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then I'm going to ignore those five and find out what the rectangular prism is. And this time I think I'll do length times width times height. So length would be three. The width I know is five because this was five. And the height is one, two, three. So again, three times five is 15 times 3, and I've already done that work in the last problem, so I know it's going to be 45. I'm going to take my 45 and add those extra 5, and I should get 50 cubes, cubes for B. Now I'm going to move on and find C. Again, I'm going to cut this piece off. Let's see how much that is. One, two, three, four, five, six. So in the end, I'm going to add six. Let's see. Let's put it down here. Okay. Then I can do length times width times height, or I can do the area of the base times height. So let's practice the area of the base again. Uh, remember, any side can be the base. This time I'm going to choose the top to be the base. So I know that this is a three times six. So that means there's 18 in each layer, and that's the base. So the area of the base is 18, and I have three layers. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of extra math again. 18 times 3. 3 times 4. I'm sorry, 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. So I'm going to have to take 54, which is the area of, or the volume of this big piece, and add it to my 6, and I'm going to get 60 cubes. All right, last one. Again, I'm going to cut this piece off, and I'm going to find this volume first. Then I'm going to find the volume of the big piece. So I'm going to do length times width times height, length of 2, width of 2, so the length and the width, and the height of 3. So I know that 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12, so this piece right here is 12. So in the end, I'm going to have to add 12 to my bigger prism. So now this rectangular prism, I can do length times width. Now the width is going to be a little bit hard. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times the height. So again, I see my 5 times 3 times 3, or 5 times 9, or 15 times 3. Any way I want to do that, right? 5 times 3 times 3 is the same as 5 times 9. So that's going to be... 45 that I add to that 12. 5 plus 2 is 7. 4 plus 1 is 5. 
So this one is 57 cubes altogether. This part was 12 and this part was 45. All right, good job taking apart those prisms and adding them together. A little messy, but we got the job done. And we showed all of our work. All right, who broke up the figure in the same way and who broke it up differently? There are certainly lots of different ways we could have broken this up and you can discuss those with your groups. Today we found the volume of figures built from two or more rectangular prisms. When a figure is built from two or more rectangular prisms, its volume can be found by adding those rectangular prisms. So remember, a rectangular prism doesn't have anything extra hanging on it. It has equal sides. Where did you use multiplication in your work today? Where did you use addition? Well, when we added the two figures together, I used that addition. But when I found the volume, I used multiplication. So here's our cool down. Let's see if we know what we're doing. So for this cool down, again, I'm going to cut my figure so that this is one piece. Yeah. And then this is the back piece. So let's find the volume of the front first. So I can see that I can find this layer here, the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I don't even need to use any math to do that. And how many layers of eight will I have? One, two, three. Three times eight is 24. So I can write on this figure that the volume of this front part is going to be 24. So I'm going to have to add the back to that 24. So now I see the back. It's a little bit more difficult to see. So I'm going to do length times width times height. Or I could do the volume of one layer times how many layers. This has four layers. So let's do that. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in one layer and four layers. Eight times four is 32. So this is the same as saying area of the base times the height. And there's a lot of different ways you could have found that, but that's the way I chose to do it today. So two plus four is six and three plus two is five and these are cubes. All right. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow.